got some new Smash news, dude. And <laughs> yo, man, I'm I'm really thinking that probably during the whole production phase of Smash. Daddy Sakurai must have been stressed out as hell because someone recently got banned. And you know, if you guys played online with Smash 3DS, you know that those bans, I wouldn't say that they're efficient, but they're definitely enforced. And you know, you can get banned for disconnecting while the game's going on, picking on a single player. And usually the bans are decent enough time, you know, they don't they don't do anything too crazy. But there's someone out there who got banned for not 10 minutes, not not 30 minutes. This nigga got banned for 135 years! 135 years! This nigga can't play online till his grandkids are born! No, 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 fuck that! He's not playing online in his lifetime anymore. He's not playing online ever again. But, yeah, it, it, this is crazy. This image is floating around Twitter, and it's got people dying because there was somebody out there who was banned for 7 million 150 wait excuse me 71 million 582,729 minutes which translates to I think over 135 years of not playing Smash online so my main question you know forget the you know the <laughs> forget the technicalities of this how the fuck did you do this? It's like, what the fuck did you do that Daddy Sakurai banished your ass? Like, I said it on Twitter. This dude got sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> There's no coming out of it. You ain't gonna be able to go online again in your fucking lifetime. How does it feel knowing that you're probably the first person on the face of the earth that got banned for 135 years online? That's crazy. But there is some more insight into this whole thing. There is an article about this, um, which is somewhere. I had it here somewhere. I usually have these things stacked up. But, um, yeah, here we go. So, there's an article about this right now which talks more in depth about it. Well, I wouldn't call it in depth, but it's on my Nintendo News and it addresses this whole thing. And it says right here, some Smash Bros. players are being banned from one, for 135 years, 136 years, in a glitch. So it's come to my attention that a few Smash Bros. players are being handed a 136 year ban. It seems as though the glitch can occur when you disconnect and don't target a specific player in team match. Reddit user Seekadoom has put together a FAQ to help players avoid this brutal glitch. Hopefully it gets resolved swiftly. So how do I prevent from being banned online for 135 years? Well, don't target one player in the group free-for-alls, okay? So make sure you don't <laughs> beat up on one dude, because you can get your ass banned for life. <laughs> just don't... <laughs> just use 1v1 for the time being, okay? Don't use online at all, you know, like, that's the most efficient way, I guess, to protect yourself from this kind of thing. Don't take your ass online, because, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I'm not really too concerned, because obviously if this was more of a problem, this would be more widespread. But still, if you're that scared that you're going to get your ass banned for life, and your generation after banned for their life, then <laughs> don't go online at all. <laughs> and don't quit mid-match, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> God, yo, this shit is crazy. Yo, man, I, I said, I said in the beginning of the video, the, the development process of these games, there's another article going around where Sakurai says that, you know, I've been very stressed out with developing these games. It's taken a toll on me, my personal health, my family. So, you know, for, for some reason, Smash Brothers 3DS has programming to allow for a 136 year ban. I don't even know how that passed the development table. I mean, how the fuck did that even get through, like, the debug team? Like, you know, I mean, that's practicality, you know? Like, why does the game have the ability to ban someone for 136 years? Like, you might as well just... I, I don't know. But anyways, guys, um, what do you think about this ban? What are you going to try to do to avoid this ban? I don't think there's anything you can really do. Just don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Because if you get caught lacking, that's it. That's it. Your ass is never seeing the flow glory mode again, although... For glory kind of sucks in the first place. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.